on the menu today. Solitaire. Welcome. Quite sure it's Cards Against Humanity. Oh, hello, chip tippers. Welcome to another Quick Bites, a retro recipe without all the bells and whistles. Thank you. Now, like you, I love Microsoft Solitaire. Oh, try that again. Like you, I love Microsoft Solitaire. And did you know it recently celebrated its 30th anniversary? And of course, it was designed by Wes Cherry. Have you got some whistle stuck in your mouth? Uh, Wes Cherry was an intern at Microsoft when he designed Solitaire. And we all have obviously used it at work to, uh, well, get out of actually doing our job. Solitaire? Yeah, free sale. Or six on seven. I'm saving that. I like it when the cards go. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> and I'm sure it is just a coincidence that just after it was released in 1990, there was a worldwide recession. Yeah. Uh, by the way, did you even know that that familiar solitaire card deck was designed by Apple's former employee, Susan Kerr, who of course famously designed Chicago. I mean the font, Chicago, uh, not the city. Yes. That's right. However, what I didn't realize, and what you may not know, is that Solitaire isn't actually 30 years old. Well, Microsoft Solitaire is, but Solitaire on a computer is actually 33. And I only know that because when I was interviewing Activision video game producer Brad Freger for my Pitfall 2 Easter egg video, he dropped this little nugget of info on us. Do you ever play or have you ever played or do you know people who have played Card Solitaire on the computer? Probably me and everyone I know, yes. <laughs> I'm the inventor. Right, that got her attention. Now we will look at the incredible reason why it was actually invented in just a moment. And this was so unexpected, you won't believe it. But first, why don't we have a quick look at the game itself, running on the Apple Macintosh over there. Susan Kerr would approve. Come with me. And here it is in all its black and white glory. Yep, Solitaire Royale was actually the one that started it all, made by Brad Frager, Brody Lockhart, and Michael Sandwich, sorry, Sandwich, and published in 1987 by Spectrum Holobyte, though not for the Spectrum, but for the Apple IIgs, Macintosh, Amiga, and MS-DOS, among others. After all, this was a predecessor to Windows Solitaire. And as you can see, it boasted a total of 11 different games, three of which were designed for kids. And you can also perhaps see where Microsoft got the inspiration for Pam Beasley's favorite thing. As when you win this version of the game, this happens. Oh, and speaking of winning, if you want to win at creating PCBs, we recommend PCB Way. They even have a new prototyping service. And as we all know, PCB stands for Pam Card Beasley, doesn't it? Well, that is the game itself. But what about the reason it was invented? For that, let's hear from the man himself, Brad Frager. No, I'm sure it's Frager. I had produced a game called Shanghai. You must know Shanghai. Yeah, of course. And my mother was addicted to it. And they would come and visit us for a month or two around Christmas time. And she, of course, brought her computer so she could play Shanghai. But my dad loved to play cards. So one night he says to me, we're playing cards tonight. And I said, yes. He says, when, when? And I said, when mom gets through playing Shanghai. She's never going to get through playing that game. She's addicted with that game. And then he shook his finger in my face. He said, I will never be addicted to a computer game. <laughs> So I went to bed that night thinking, hmm. how can I addict my dad to a computer game? Right. And it hit me. I'll do computer solitaire. He loves solitaire. The design for solitaire was in my mind already because when I was a young boy, I would visit my Aunt Anne. And Aunt Anne, every single morning, would play eight solitaire games. So I just used those eight games, and then they each had an individual total. And then I threw in the game. I called it Aunt Anne's game, which was the eight games together with a running total. And uh, the next Christmas, <laughs> they had to bring two computers. <laughs> My dad was addicted to computer solitaire. <laughs> so you achieved your goal. <laughs> I achieved my goal. <laughs> so 
Lucy. I told you you'd never guess. Uh, you guessed? Okay. But we should also come full circle back to Microsoft for a moment because after that release of Microsoft Solitaire in 1990, they approached Brad and asked him if he'd like to make a version of Solitaire Royale for Windows. They invited him to their Redmond head office, prepped contracts, sent him home to wait for them to arrive so he could sign them. And he never heard from them again. Now, he later found out that actually someone else had taken over at the games division at Microsoft, and that person was not a fan of Solitaire. Now, Brad thinks that this probably cost Microsoft billions of dollars, and it certainly cost Brad a lot of money too. In fact, the Enders game creator, Orson Scott Card, was so angry at Microsoft for this decision that he penned a 24-page foreword in Brad's book, Lucky That Way. Well, if they lost billions, I guess Microsoft weren't lucky that way. Yeah, but we are lucky, and we're thanks to Brad, and of course, the inspiration of his parents, that we have Computer Solitaire in the first place. And indeed, we've been playing with ourselves ever since. I'll be back soon with another delicious retro recipe. Until then, thanks for watching, subscribe and support below, and cheerio. Say cheerio. Good girl. Hey. I bet you $100 that you can beat me at a game of solitaire. Well, you can't play against someone with solitaire. Oh no, that means you can't beat me. Okay, $100. <laughs> okay, we have a joint bank account. Uh, Bugger it. <laughs>